Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan here and welcome back to the Overwatch Esports Roundup. So, I'm starting off a triple bill of Overwatch Esports Roundup over this weekend and Monday to round off our Open Division action for Season 1 of 2020. We've already looked at China, Europe and other places. We've got Korea, South America and North America to take a look at and Trials is just starting in some places and it's about to start in some other places as well. So, we've got a lot to cover. We are going to start off in this one with Korea. So, in Korea we saw obviously the same amount of teams as always, 16 teams or so. And we in this region we have BM Raven, OZ Gaming, or OZ Gaming, depending, on if you're, depending if you're American or not, Tiger Nation, BM Hawk, GGTC, Ravos Gaming, Simulook, Flower Road, Punkywa Idol, Top Honor, Hackers, GAM, Lucky Future, you would have heard of Lucky Future probably before, White Whale Engine Esports, SVG, and Crudelis. So, I hope I'm saying them all right. I should be saying them all right. I don't know why I wouldn't be. I like that the hackers are honest in what they are doing. <laughs> Jokes. I don't think they're actually hacking. It's a very bad offence in Korea, if you didn't know. So, round one of the Open Division for 2020 Season 1, Korea. And we see a BM Raven taking on Crudelis. This was a 3-0 for BM Raven, with them moving on. BM Raven, one of the stronger teams in this competition. Next up, we had Flower Road taking on Punky Wah Idol. I love that name, by the way. This was a really close game with Punky Wah Idol coming out with a 3-2 victory over Flower Road and knocking them down to the loser's bracket. Next up, we had BM Hawk take on Lucky Future. This was a surprise because Lucky Future have actually... You, they, they've been around uh, South Korean contenders for a while and they're in open division this time around. There's also Lucky Future Zenith, if you haven't heard of them as well. And... They actually lose 3-0 to BM Hawk, which is a bit of a surprise with Lucky Future going down to the loser's bracket. GGTC would take on GAM next, with GGTC coming out with a 3-0 victory over GAM and moving on to that quarterfinal. OZ Gaming would be taken on SVG. Again, this is a 3-0 win for OZ Gaming, with them moving on to the quarterfinal. Simulook would take on Top Honor. Another 3-0 here with Top Honor moving on, and Simulook going down to the loser's bracket. Tiger Nation will take on Whitewell Incheon Esports. This is another 3-0 here with Tiger Nation going through to the quarterfinals and Whitewell dropping down to the loser's bracket. And then we had Bravos Gaming taking on Hackers. The Hackers, well, it didn't work. 3-0 for the Bravos Gaming here and they move on to the quarterfinals with the Hackers dropping down to the loser's bracket. So, loser's bracket round one then. Whitewell Incheon Esports would take on Hackers. This was a 3-0 win for White Whale Incheon Esports, as I kind of would expect with that. White Whale move on to the loser's bracket round two. SVG would take on Simulook. This would be a 3-0 win for SVG, with Simulook dropping out of open division at this point. Lucky Future, the surprise participants in loser's bracket round one, would be getting a 3-0 victory over GAM, moving on to the loser's bracket round two, and Crudelis would lose 3-0 to Flower Road, with Crudelis dropping out of open division at the loser's bracket round one. So, moving on, and we have the quarterfinals of the winner's bracket. This is BM Raven taking on Punkywa Idol. This is a 3-1 win for BM Raven, with them moving on to the semi-final. Punkywa Idol will drop down to the loser's bracket round two. BM Hawk would take on GGTC. Very, very close game, but GGTC would get a narrow 3-2 victory over BM Hawk, moving on to those semi-finals. OZ Gaming would take on Top Honor. This would be a 3-0 win for OZ Gaming again. OZ Gaming, one of the more powerful teams in this competition as well, with them moving on to the semi-finals. And then we had Tiger Nation taking on Bravos Gaming. This was a 3-1 win for Tiger Nation. And they will move on to the semi-finals with Bravos Gaming dropping down to the loser's bracket round two. Talking of the loser's bracket round two, let's get on to that now then. BM Hawk taking on White World Inchon Esports. This was a 3-1 win for BM Hawk. With them moving on to the losers bracket round three and Whitewell Incheon Esports dropping out of Open Division career here. Punky Wah Idol will take on SVG. This was a 3 0 win for Punky Wah Idol, with them moving on to the losers bracket round three. Bravos Gaming will take on Lucky Future. This was a really close match with Lucky Future getting a narrow 3 2 win over Bravos Gaming and moving on. And then we had Top Honor taking on Flower Road. Again, a really, really close match here, but a 3-2 win for Top Honor would see them move on to the loser's bracket round three. We will take a look at that loser's bracket round three now then. BM Hawk taking on Punky Wah Idol. This is the end of BM Hawk's open division season, with Punky Wah Idol getting a narrow 3-2 victory and moving on to the loser's bracket round four. 
Lucky Future would take on Top Honor. Lucky Future would get a 3-1 win here and Top Honor would be out of the Open Division Season 1 2020 here. Lucky Future going into Losers Bracket Round 4. But going back to the winners bracket then we've got the semi-finals to take a look at. A very narrow semi-final between BM Raven and GGTC would kick us off in this part of the bracket. With a 3-2 win for BM Raven they will move on to the winners bracket grand final and GGTC would have to go down to the losers bracket round 4 and fight through that losers bracket for a chance at the grand final. Then we see OZ Gaming taking on Tiger Nation. This was a pretty comprehensive 3-0 victory for OZ Gaming. They will move on to the winners grand final and the Tiger Nation will be dropping down to the losers bracket round 4 which we will take a look at now. So Tiger Nation taking on Punkywa Idol would kick us off with the losers bracket round 4. This would be a pretty comprehensive 3-0 victory for Punkywa Idol with them moving on to the losers bracket semi-final. This signalled the end of Tiger Nation's open division 2020 season 1. Then we had GGTC taking on Lucky Future. Again, another very narrow game, but Lucky Future managed to squeeze out a 3-2 victory over GGTC and move on to that loser's bracket semi-final. Talking of that semi-final, let's take a look at it. Punky Wa Idol taking on Lucky Future, and unfortunately I now have to stop saying Punky Wa Idol because they lose 3-1 to Lucky Future. With Lucky Future moving on to the loser's bracket final, Punky Wa Idol though, we will see more of them in the future. That is not a pun, that is just me stating the facts. But, moving on, the winner's bracket grand final then, BM Raven taking on OZ Gaming, a very, very narrow game here, but a 3-2 win for OZ Gaming will see them jump into the grand final spot, with BM Raven dropping down to that loser's bracket final, where they would take on Lucky Future. This would be a very comprehensive game in the last loser's bracket game, with BM Raven taking a 3-0 victory over Lucky Future. Lucky Future though, again, we will be seeing them in trials. So to round this bracket off then we have the grand final between OZ Gaming and BM Raven, a rematch of the winners final. Again it is very very narrow as we will probably remember the grand finals in open division are a best of seven maps, so the first of four. But it is a 4-3 victory once again for OZ Gaming, OZ Gaming winning open division 2020 season 1 in Korea. Congratulations to them, BM Raven have sealed a spot in that second place as a trials team coming up in the next couple of weeks and we look forward to seeing them in the trials season. So let's take a look at who will be joining Meta Anthena, World Game Star, GC Busan Wave and T1, the academy team of Philadelphia Fusion in Contenders Trials for Korea in 2020 season 1. And we start off with our top four seeds, all of which will be getting a nice 450 US dollars. Of course you're going to split that between the players so it's not all that much in the end but these are OZ Gaming, BM Raven, Lucky Future, and Punky Wa Idol. Then we have another four teams going through. This will be Tiger Nation, GGTC, BM Hawk, and Top Honor. All finding spaces in Trials for Korea in Season 1 of 2020, with all of the other teams missing out, and this has unfortunately meant that some teams like White World Incheon Esports have also disbanded. I will go through that at a later date in a transfer roundup. But to round us off, that means our participants in Contenders Trials for Korea 2020 Season 1. That is a mouthful, I wish I didn't have to say it all the time. Meta Anthena, World Game Star, GC Busan Wave, T1, OZ Gaming, BM Raven, Lucky Future, Punky War Idol, Tiger Nation, GGTC, BM Hawk, and Top Honor. So, this will start at around uh, 11th of March if you wanted to watch it. If you can watch it, who knows what contenders are doing with this season and its coverage it's not the best and you can find all contenders information over the next month on the overwatch league website as it has been now being integrated into the league's website which i think is actually a good move for exposure for contenders and lower but i am going to leave it here for this one next time we will take a look at south america and then to round off our open division look for 2020 season one we will take a look at North America, which I'm sure everyone is probably waiting for. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. See you then.